So Matthew uh, DeHart has made certain claims about his involvement in Anonymous. So for example, he claimed he was running a Tor hidden service. And he certainly, from what I've seen, has the technical capacities and ideological commitments to be running such a service. He also claims that he was involved in the making of the first anonymous video for Project Chinology, the project that was protesting the Church of Scientology. And he does have information uh, that no one else would have except for the people who were involved at the time. It was a small group of eight people, and many of them were acting anonymously. So they didn't know who um, the other person was, and he holds very specific information that only people who were uh, making the video that night would know. So given these details, it does seem credible that he was involved definitely in some capacity with Anonymous in its early stages at least.